This uh, video is that of surgical technique of arthroscopic ankle fusion surgery. The x-rays uh, being shown here are that of the patient who, as you can see, has got significant medial ankle arthritis and a varus deformity. This patient is young, has got a high BMI and therefore not ideal for tibial osteotomy and therefore an ankle fusion surgery performed arthroscopically has been uh, done in this particular case. So the setup of the surgery, Gould's distractor, uh, I've outlined um, medial and lateral portals and this is the medial portal, uh, 20 ml of saline being infiltrated just medial to tibialis anterior tendon in the soft spot as shown here and that shows uh, regurge of fluid shows that I am in the joint uh, so insertion of the arthroscopic instrumentation and the camera and then in a second we'll see the joint which is here so um, this is a lateral aspect which shows intact cartilage and then we are coming to the medial side where there is complete loss of cartilage both on the tailor and the tibial sides There's some synovitis as expected and once we have viewed then through the lateral portal a needle is inserted followed by the first instrument which is the arthroscopic soft tissue shaver and I normally use for most cases a full radius resector so first step is to clear the soft tissue gutters do synovectomy and deal with the uh, soft tissues before going to the cartilage and then full radius resector is quite a good instrument and it can take away um, quite a lot of cartilage so I use this instrument to then denude all the cartilage in a systematic fashion so here I've gone from the medial aspect and I'm coming laterally so again clearing out some soft tissue I'm on the tibial side and taking away all the cartilage as much as I can take with the full radius resector and this is I'm going at the back of the tibia there's some synovitis at the back of the ankle joint So once I'm happy with the initial tibial preparation and then I will go on the tailor side which is this footage here. So I'm starting laterally and I'm progressing medially to the area where there was no cartilage. Now difficult areas like these, the medial gutter, a curate is very useful which is my second instrument. So I take out, scoop out the cartilage using a curate at all the corners and at difficult angles. And then the final instrumentation for this operation is the burr. So the most powerful burr, then I will prepare or I am preparing the joint as shown here to subchondral surface, uh, bleeding bone, and that makes the preparation complete. Now this patient had uh, slight restriction of terminal dorsiflexion so I'm doing percutaneous Achilles stenotomy and that's also going to help me with the virus deformity. So three stab incisions, uh, two medial, one lateral. This is the lateral, the second one, and this is the final stab incision and I'm dividing the Achilles half medially. And once this is done, then the foot is in a better position, neutral position. Now because of the virus deformity, I'm using the first portal of the screw as lateral so that, that that can bring the foot into slight valgus. So that's the guide wire and using image throughout the procedure. That position is not great. I'm going to readjust. That's I've readjusted. So that's going in the center. Now this is the second guide wire entry uh, point medially. So a stab incision and then blunt dissection to the bone. And the assistant 
uh, is keeping the foot in a neutral position when I will insert the guide wire. So again, uh, I'm just checking where I am and then I am going, this is a lateral view showing that I've got very good position of both my wires and I'm happy with that. And after drilling, uh, I'm inserting the screws. So these are cannulated, partially threaded 6.5 millimeter screws, one medial and one lateral, and that's a very good configuration. And final, just uh, closure of the uh, stab incisions, the two arthroscopy portals and the two screw sides. Uh, I use inodine uh, as a dressing and then I put my patients in back slab for two weeks followed by non-weight bearing plaster for four weeks and weight bearing plaster for six weeks. Thank you.